Uh, hi, Blue Smooth lovers. We're here with Lawrence Jones, and he played um, Blue Smooth Cafe. How was it? Yeah, really good. We had a great time tonight. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it? Because the sound you hear is not the sound that's being recorded. No, and you've got four cameras on you, and it's a completely different sound to what you're normally used to live. Well, we got it. We got it in, and we yeah, we uh, glad that you're here. We planned it before, one and a half year ago. We didn't succeed then, but we succeeded tonight. Thank you very much. Um, Lawrence, it's a, it's a pretty good year for you. It's going to be a good year for you because last year you won the European, the English version of the European Blues Challenge that may you, you may uh, play in. When is it? February or? Yeah, it's in um, it's in March, and it's for uh, it's in Belgium. It's the final, and we'll be representing the UK against all the countries in Europe to get the ch to get the challenge. <laughs> what are your hopes for? Um, we're just going to go out there and do our thing and, you know, treat it like an, a nice gig and there's going to be a lot of important people there in the audience and, and that's the main thing. And last year you played amongst uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd invite you for a tour, um, Walter Trout invite you on stage just before you went very, very ill. Yeah. He's, he's better now, he's in a better hand, but how is the view for our uh, young guitar player from the UK to be invited on stage with those huge, 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 huge guitar players. Yeah, well, they've always been my heroes. I grew up listening to them, you know, playing along to the tracks in my bedroom and, uh, you know, it, we even got to support Johnny Winter on tour as well before before he died and, you know, for me, I think my first ever CD was a, was I was given to me was by my dad and it was a Walter Trout one, 1992, when I was born. So for me to get up and play with him was an honor. You remember what CDs was? Transition. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then your your first CD, uh, which is called. My first CD was called Thunder in the Sky. Thunder it was in the on sky? proper records. Okay. Yeah. And um, which was the the the, the CD where Walter would play the song with you? That was my that was my second CD, my first. CD with Roof Records and that's called Temptation. He plays on the title track with me. I actually wrote that song for Walter after him inspiring me on tour, you know, about not doing, you know, drugs and how hard it is on the road, you know, and, and I was really inspired by that and I wanted him to play on that and he did. Now he knows from first hand that he should not do any drugs on stage, yeah. <laughs> on tour. Yeah. Um, how, do you, how, do you wrote, how do you write a song like that? Well, just from getting you know from your hero talking to you it's such a overwhelming experience and um you know sitting you down and it's almost having a having a lesson with the master so um so for that in itself i had to write a song and he said at the end of the tour he just came up to me and said um i would love to play on your next record and i thought well i've wrote a song about you so play on that no discussion about that no no whatsoever uh what age you started to play i started at the age of eight and I started on the classical guitar and I did all my grades on that and I uh, discovered the blues when I was 12 years old. How? How did you discover the blues? Well, just just on, on YouTube and I used to go every week to a blues club in my hometown and see all the bands, you know, all the local bands there like Joanne Shaw Taylor, Sherman Robertson, they all used to tour around there and I got to meet them at a very early age. And then you thought, hey, that's cool. All the people watching the guitar play, I'm going to be that. <laughs> Why guitar and not be drums or bass? But, well, I actually the first thing I ever learned was the drums um, when I was a kid. <laughs> but um, I didn't I didn't take it serious. But I always wanted to do the guitar. Um, it was just something. As soon as I started playing, I knew I wanted to do this for the rest of my life. And now you're 22. You were you were quite a few years on the road. Your third CD is just been produced or been recorded not even produced as we speak yet <laughs> um those those songs or on those new cd that you write them what do you no, no what the first question what do you write at first the lyrics or the song or the the the, the chords it depends which song some songs i write the lyrics some songs i write the guitar first which, which one you wrote the lyrics first um i wrote i was probably half and half on on both on both of them really. My last CD, I wrote all the guitar parts first, and uh, and this CD kind of came naturally. Some of the lyrics came first, some of the guitar parts came first. 
Who is the who's the guy that um, says, Lawrence, this lick isn't any good? Who's going to correct you in the studio? Is that a producer or is, is it yourselves or the bandmates? I think I'm my own worst enemy, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> in the studio, you know, I want I want everything nice, but uh, but yeah, even if it is wrong, it's still right. You know, there's no wrong or right in the studio. No, oh, you never know. Maybe maybe a producer saying if you take that road, the songs get more power. Yeah. Maybe it's going to help you. I don't know. That's well, that's why I asked. Well, I um. Was the album was produced by my bass player and myself, and we both produced the album. So, got a lot of experience from Roger in there, and I had some ideas as well. We just came together. Well, it seems you have a good vibe on stage because you're 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 searching each other and and make it a show about it. So there must be some chemistry between you two guys. Yeah, I mean, my last CD was um, I had session players on it, you know, really top session players. And this time I've toured with Roger and Miri for a year. And we thought, you know, why can't we just do a record together? You know, we all gel on stage and they know me musically and they know which direction I want to go in. So it was a good opportunity. When is it going to be released, the new CD? Does it have a title yet? Yeah, it's going to be called What's It Going to Be? And it's going to be out in March. For a couple of months. A couple of months, or some some editing, some mastering be done, and then it's going to be. Is the artwork ready? No, not yet. <laughs> 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 but we've we had some. I was lucky enough to have some special guests on there as well. We've got Dana Fuchs. She's okay. sing, singing a, a track something, on there. something for the eye. Yeah, and uh, also Sandy Tom as well. She's singing on track. So it's going to be good. There's nothing wrong with your eyes. Let me say that. <laughs> and your ears. And my ears. Now. 2015, any early start? Uh, what's this year uh, keeping for you? What's now? What what's bringing this year for you? Well, this year we've already got 185 shows lined up. Um, we're touring all the way throughout Europe, and um, I've had some amazing opportunities since I won um, Best Young Artist of the Year. I've got invited to play at the Royal Albert Hall with Van Morrison and Jules Holland and Paul Jones so it's going to be an amazing experience. And, and the same uh, band with them or in the same stage with them? No, on the same stage. <laughs> it's going to, we're going to be the whole lineup and loads of special guests are coming to it. So. Oh, this is the big BBC thing that yeah. you're doing. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's in aid of uh, Lead Belly. So everyone's doing a track for Lead Belly and it's going to be great. Okay, you should do, you should do Ram Jam. Yeah. Or Black <laughs> Betty, <yeah>. Black <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Which is a Lead Belly song, yeah, it is, yeah. And more are some festivals you look forward to. Yeah, next we, to them. Yeah, we've got some great festivals coming up um, in England as well. We're touring. We've got some festivals in Germany and and Holland, so it's going to be great. Where is going to end for you? <laughs> it's now 2015, and let's fast forward to let's 15 years, 2030. Then as Lawrence Jones is 20, 37. A young player still. Mm. What then? I'm just going to keep on playing my music, you know, doing what I love, as long as uh, I love it and enjoy it, which I always will. That's that's really important. It's important that the people see that as well. You know, just div going to different countries, developing our songs and, um, you know, more records. And, yeah, I'd be really happy. Well, we're going to watch you all along the way. And... Yeah, well, you're 37. Maybe you got your first divorce, and that's always a good inspiration with good blues songs, it's you good know. For the blues, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Absolutely delighted to have you on our show, and uh, uh, well, let's for the people say watch our videos and our radio show. Thank you, Lawrence Jones. Have a good, good, a very good year ahead, man. Thank you for having me. Cheers. <laughs> Mahlzeit. <laughs> <laughs>